Excellencies, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to you all. It is with great humility that I stand before you today to receive the prestigious FAO Agricola Medal. I am deeply honored and grateful to the UN Food and Agriculture Organization for recognizing Ethiopia's diligent efforts over the past five years in addressing food and nutrition security. As I accept this very prestigious award, I would like to emphasize my government's commitment to not only meeting zero hunger goals, but to achieving food sovereignty and attaining national prosperity. Ethiopia is a nation of plenty. It has abundant natural resources, most favorable weather, and an energetic youth population. Synergy among these factors is essential in accelerating the development of this historic nation. The endeavors we have begun in the past five years are thus solid foundations for the next generation. Five years ago, we introduced an essential policy turning point that generated the national homegrown economic reform agenda through which agriculture, manufacturing industries, tourism, mining, and ICTs were identified as key economic pillars and engines of growth. While all of these five pillars hold immense untapped potential, agriculture productivity is critical to our population of more than 120 million and remains the driving force of our economy. The transformation of the sector has seen our total farm area increase by over 50 percent with vast amounts of land for crop production still available for cultivation. As we continue expanding our potential in this sector, our focus on high value and in industrial crops is yielding promising results as we have been planting drought tolerant, water efficient crops such as wheat, teff, maize and sorghum. Wheat and particularly of seasonal irrigation has been a major focus. As for many decades, we were dependent on imports. With innovations in our planting practices and the use of technology, we have moved from a wheat deficit to a surplus production increase of 300%. Freeing ourselves from the grips of poverty means we must catalyze our human resources towards this enhanced productivity. Nurturing a productive workforce and population requires us to make critical investments in nutrition. Hence why we have been taking targeted measures in not only expanding farm land, but also increasing dairy, meats, poultry, fish, and honey productivity. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, since 2018, we have undertaken over 80 investment climate reforms in various areas, including sector liberalization, laws and regulations, with efforts to make Ethiopia conducive and receptive to, par to partnership and investments. In the context of challenging circumstances and a dynamic environment, Ethiopia continues to be a resilient nation, remaining steadfast in our development goals and in attracting investments. To potential investors joining us this morning, I invite you to take a rewarding leap of faith and invest in Ethiopia. And to our development partners, I thank you for your co continued cooperation and encourage you to support through innovations and future technologies that will enable us to meet the global growing demand for food. I thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.